We're hearing from the former girlfriend of Rajay Black. Police say Black killed two of his former partners in a rampage that started in Baltimore and then ended in Howard County. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren has the follow up tonight. I kept urging him to go to therapy. The former girlfriend has not been able to bring herself to watch the Facebook Live video. It's the holidays, man. I don't have no family, nothing. Anyway, I just did something crazy, man. Where Rajay Black appears to confess to killing his ex-girlfriend, Tara LeBang, before police say he gunned down his ex-wife, Wendy Black, at her home in Columbia Saturday, all while his young children waited in an SUV outside. We did have um, access to weapons. I definitely um, feel for the children. Um, I feel for all of them, um, Wendy and Tara. <laughs> She asked that we not name her and share this video of Rajay. She says they met in March 2019 and broke up a year later. She says he had severe depression and never got help for it. I felt like I was the only support system for him in a way, but I had to choose my own sanity. I had to choose my own well-being. And I, you know, when I broke up with him, I still loved him incredibly. But I knew that I had to put myself first. I couldn't be a part of it because he just wouldn't get help. The former girlfriend shared a text message with Jay sent telling her, there was a time that I was so low that I didn't want to live anymore. It was you that helped me get through it. She said he told her he loved his kids. Were you ever afraid of him? No. Jay never cursed at me. He never raised a voice in me. He never, he always told me because of what I had been in a previous relationship with being abused, that he would never hurt me. That's what he said to me. But according to court records, Wendy Black filed multiple protective orders that were denied. Last year, in her own handwriting, she said, I am terrified because I do not know what he's capable of doing to me and the girls. I do not feel that we are safe. I do not feel safe at all. I feel that my life is in danger. A lot of times people don't take it serious when people say that their life is in danger. Definitely about protecting women, um, there's definitely a broken system. Mike Helgren, WJZ.